Flameheart has returned. A new Burning Blade world event, four new weapons, ancient temples, and more are coming to Sea of Thieves. 2024 might be the biggest year yet. Welcome to Ghost Flash, the only place to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And today we have a big one, because the Sea of Thieves 2024 preview event has premiered, giving us a look at everything we can expect over the course of the year from seasons 12, 13 and 14. This year moves away from systematic changes to the core game and how it fundamentally functions, and instead moves towards classic Sea of Thieves, enriching the sandbox and providing new tools and experiences for players. So getting into Season 12, Season 12 will introduce new weapon loadout options for the first time in 6 years, as well as fresh tools that will change combat strategies and traversal alike. So what does that mean? Well first off, there are two new weapons being added. The first is the double barrel pistol. This will allow you to fire two individual shots before reloading or charge up both barrels with this versatile weapon that sits between the pistol and blunderbuss in terms of range and power. So you do get that blunderbuss like gameplay if you want to fire a big shot or you can work it a bit more like a pistol where you get two shots before reloading. The second weapon is throwing knives. So you have a standard light attack like the sword and a heavy attack which you can charge up to a lot of damage, but they can actually be thrown out as well. So they have a third type of attack, which is the most attacks we have in the game. Obviously with the sword, we have the light attack and we have the sword dash, but these you can throw. If you miss a throw, however, the knives will get lodged in the environment, which can be retrieved by you or an enemy. This will act as a reload slot for one knife, but an enemy could pick it up and throw it back to you. I can't wait to see how this plays out in terms of boarding combat, because you can end up throwing them backwards and forwards. It sounds awesome. I can't wait to see it. As I say, throwing knives sound epic because they have three attacks. They're very versatile, so we'll have to see how they play out. Combat doesn't end there though, because there are three new types of, I guess you're not throwables, but three specials, we'll call them that. The first is a brand new type of cannonball called the Scattershot. It's a bundle of four cannonballs that has a very short range, but they spread that can cause multiple small holes on an enemy vessel, forcing them to work through the plank supply much faster than against normal cannonballs. So this is really good for burning supplies, or if you get close, you can overwhelm them. It's a little bit like a shotgun, but not in the sense that it does a load of damage, more in the sense that it's spread. You can attack the whole ship as opposed to one small part of it. The next special is a new throwable, called the bone caller and this is absolutely out of this world you lob this like bauble like it's like a ball thing and it summons a squad of skeletons to serve you so wherever it shatters they'll spawn and they are loyal to you and this includes directly onto the deck of an enemy ship or your ship for that matter you can spawn skeletons on your ship or an enemy ship to fight for you, so you can throw it on an enemy ship, skeleton spawn, they start attacking them, which could assist a board from you, or if they do it to you, you can then throw skeletons on the ground, and then they can fight the other skeletons, it's, it's, we've got our own armies to command here, and it's, I can't, again, this is amazing, I think originally this was actually on the plans, or at least it was for ocean crawlers, something like that, that you could actually have them be able to board on your boat, but I don't know, so this is awesome to finally be able to see. The final special is the Horn of Fair Winds, aka the Windcaller. And this has so many uses, it's amazing to see, honestly, so many of these features are kind of things that back before this preview event, if we speculated on, people would have said, no, this would never happen, but this is real. So you can use this in many ways. So basically, wherever you blow, wind goes. So if you blow it into your sails, you will catch the breeze. If you're on a rowboat and you blow it backwards, the rowboat will turn to a speedboat. If you're holding it in the water and you use it, you'll turn into like a jet ski thing with yourself. If you're falling from a height, you can use it to negate fall damage. You can push pirates away. You get the idea. There are so many uses for this. It does have a finite charge of course as you might be able to imagine so it does run out presumably a bit like the ashen windscot but it looks phenomenal this is a huge addition to the game i can't wait to see it being added in season 12 it's not actually that 
long to wait. We're actually quite close to it. Um, however, that doesn't stop there. Zip lines are coming in Season 12 across a range of islands that we saw debut in The Legend of Monkey Island Tales. And Harpoon Walking. This is huge. This is literally almost like bringing Assassin's Creed Black Flag into the game. You can now walk across harpoons. So, you're next to an enemy boat. You climb on board the harpoon and then you walk across, provided you're at a good angle. It seems like this is what harpoons were meant for from the day they were implemented, but I cannot commend this enough. If you fire it up to a skeleton fort, for example, you can go down it, you can slide down it, you can walk up it to places. It's a new traversal method and it's going to make life so much easier. Amazing thing from Rare there. Now then, we move on to Season 13. Season 13 is out of the world. It has blown me away. Season 13 sees the return of Captain Flameheart and his fearsome ship, the Burning Blade, as his followers ramp up their efforts to uncover ancient secrets. As part of this, there is a brand new world event, the Burning Blade. A large warship rocking 10 cannons and a front-facing fireball launcher will be a new world event that can either be sunk or commandeered by Flameheart supporting player crews. Let them sail with a literal skeleton crew to cause chaos. Before we continue, this is like a hybrid between my video that I did on Man of Wars and the Shiny Ray's video that he did on Man of Wars. They've literally slapped these two together. So, how does it work? It's a giant world event. You can sink it or you can commandeer it, whatever. You can then board it. And this, they've talked about the interior. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a statue of Flameheart. It's going to be obviously a cool captain's cabin. There's weapons everywhere. Obviously, it's crewed by skeletons. It looks absolutely phenomenal. The Burning Blade is back. This is out of this world. Now, they are introducing skeleton camps. Now, these ramshackle constructions will mark excavation sites where pirates can descend into ancient temples to solve new puzzles and recover valuable loot. Or if in control of the Burning Blade, collect secrets important to furthering Captain Flameheart schemes. Now, I don't know if these are new islands or if they're just islands that have been repurposed. If anyone can work it out or has an idea about this, let me know down in the comments below. I can only presume that they're new because... Well, the other islands, every island is used for many quests and everything like that. Would they really take it over permanently? I don't know. Anyway, I'm genuinely losing my mind about this. The ancient temples, look at how good it looks inside. Now, they have commented on this. It's a new type of puzzle. Apparently, there's like a control orb in the middle of the temple, and you like, use it to align constellations that then unlock secrets. So, that's amazing. But basically, if you're in control of the Burning Blade, then you go to these, you won't have any hassle. You go down and you recover the secrets important to furthering Captain Flameheart schemes, as I mentioned. However, you can just go to these normally. You'll face skeletons because you're not on the side of Captain Flameheart. Of course, if you go on board the Burning Blade, you're plaguing yourself so the skeletons won't attack you. But if you go to these just in the main world, which you can do, then skeletons will attack you and you'll have a bit of a fight. I cannot wait to see these play out. This this whole season, especially these new ramshackle constructions, and especially if they're new islands are what I'm looking forward to most. The environment work for these looks stunning. I'll be interested to see if there are many around the map or if there are kind of just limited numbers. Additionally, will there be one on Old Faithful? Because that was the location of an ancient temple where Eli Slate fought Flameheart in the heart of Fire Novel. Will there be one on Sunken Grove, which is where Adventure 12 or Adventure 11 and 10 or whatever we're leading up to we'll have to wait and see but this season i have no words other than praise in fact the whole preview event i've got no words other than praise but especially this season it just looks amazing it's got story it's got experiences it's got tools it has got everything now let's move on to season 14 this is the one they said the least about, which is kind of understandable, but to quote them, Season 14 is being designed with mischief at its heart. From increased stealth capabilities to new ways to prank players, this season intends to create even more varied player interactions and increase the scope of the stories players can experience. As part of this, they're introducing the grapple gun. This handheld harpoon not only allows for plunder pilfering, but it will open up more traversal and boarding options than ever before, through the way it pulls its user directly to any point where it hits the environment. I mean, as the preview event goes on, it's just getting crazier and crazier. Like, honestly, I don't know if it's just because we haven't had, like, 
content in terms of experiences and tools in a while. But I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked. So they announced that. They also announced Blow Dance. And from my understanding, this is effectively if you're boarding an enemy ship, you can equip this from the armory and you fire it at the capstan. It'll make the noise of a capstan. You fire it at the ladder. It'll make it sound like someone's coming up the ladder. So it's a bit of a distraction technique. It's definitely worth going and watching the preview event after this. They shed a little bit more light on Season 14 in terms of their ethos, but it's pretty hard to discern what they're actually planning on adding. But that will be a weapon in the armory. Armory. Haven't got any gameplay for that yet, but they did announce it and that does bring us to the end of the preview event So there we go. Obviously they haven't shared everything. They don't want to do that They want to reveal a lot, but they do want to keep some stuff a secret because obviously we know everything and they, that's just not great But we've seen so much. I just I can't wait for all of it This is going to be a fantastic year. I know I keep banging on about it but season 13 especially it's going to be Awesome. Let me know what season you're looking forward to most down in the comments below. I have no words other than praise for Rare. Any developers watching this, you have done an outstanding job and you should all be very proud. Everyone is going to be excited about everything that's coming to the game. And they did mention about performance and hit registration and cheat everything about that in the preview event as well. They're working on it. They're getting a dedicated team for it, which they didn't have before. They were pulling feature teams to work on things like that. But now they're having people dedicated to that purpose and obviously easy anti cheat was implemented the other day so that's all being worked on and it's still a priority which is amazing to hear anyways that does just about bring us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy then please do consider leaving a like it really does help out the channel an absolute ton and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest sea of thieves news as and when it comes out and while you're at it why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload i want to give a quick shout out to all the ps5 people who subscribe to the channel i have noticed the comments down below i can't wait for you guys to start sailing the season thank you for all the support anyways apart from all that thanks for watching and i'll see you later